And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes, and I'm back with a, another video. It is my third video today, so I'm tired, man. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I drop daily NBA 2K21 My Team content. Drop a like on this video. Comment down below what you think of the list after it's all said and done, which cards would move up, which cards would move down. So, parameters for the list. S tier, unquestionable best cards in the game. Usually five tool guys that can do a little bit of everything. A tier. Just a shade under S tier, still all incredibly usable guys, and if you add them to your team, it's going to make them immeasurably better. You could argue that some guys that you believe in S tier should be an A tier, and A tier should be an S tier, etc. You know, they're pretty close in tier. B tier guys, super specialists. They do about four or five things really well, or they're kind of outdated versions of cards that were exceptionally good in the past and c tier specialist guys like i said they do about two or three things really really well um, or they play really well in a couple different game modes they have uses uh, d tier really specialist guys they do like one or two things very well or one or two game modes very well and f tier guys guys that you could do better um any improvements that you make to your team will be better than these cards essentially not saying they're worthless you're going to see some guys in f tier that maybe you like for certain situations but for the most part they're going to be upgradable guys so with that being said i only have a couple more things primary positions only we're doing small forwards today so if like a galaxy opal lebron for instance is a power forward um and then one more addendum is yesterday i did my shooting guard tier list and i accidentally had jimmy butler in there so jimmy butler will be back on the small forward tier list to disregard him i believe he was in the small shooting guard tier list either way He's going to be in the small forward tier list today. So with that being said, let's get started. Alex English, C tier. He just makes sense for C tier. He's he's good. Um, he's a little bit outdated. He has that Carmelo jump shot, which is definitely a knock on him uh, because he can't shoot from the corners. And to be completely honest with you, that's where he's most effective realistically. Um, he'd be most effective as a shooting or a small forward. And if you're running like, Hawks Freelance or Bucks Freelance is going to end up in the corner pretty frequently. Um, he has hot zones there as well. That being said, he's a pretty good card, but he lacks a few different things. His three-point is only at 80. He's a little bit slow. Other than that, I like this card. He's just middle of the pack, probably a C tier. Uh, Andrew Wiggins. I'm a fan of Wiggins, but he's a bit outdated at this point. D tier would make sense. He plays good defense and attacks the rim. And if you apply badges to him, he becomes a better shooter but not someone that I rely on shooting. Now, that being said, as a Ruby card, he's good. He might move up to C tier at some point, but trying to be objective, I think he's probably down in D. Uh, Brent Berry. I like this Brent Berry card, don't get me wrong, but realistically, in your main squad, even in you know limited runs or TTO, there's just better options that can do what Brent Berry does, but better. Uh, yeah, Terry Dissinger's S tier. He is a complete player. Uh, arguably one of the best small forwards in the game. Uh, well, definitely not arguably one of the best, but arguably the best small forward in the entire game at this point. Now, when you're coming about primary positions, like obviously I would probably take Tracy McGrady and LeBron James over him. I'm not a big LeBron fan, so maybe not LeBron, but Terry Dissinger is incredible. He's big, he's fast, he can shoot from deep, he's got an easy time jump shot. Best part, he's free. Granted, almost impossible to get, but free. Bruce Bowen. I'm going to put Bruce Bowen in D tier just because he's a little outdated. And the only reason for that is just because there's guys who do what Bruce Bowen does, but better. That's essentially why. And if you're wondering, like I've said in the other tier list, why I'm skimming past some cards without a crazy amount of explanation, it's because I have 110 to get through. Uh, Carmelo Anthony. Uh, this Carmelo is probably D tier as well. He's pretty solid, but nothing special. He's just... A decent Ruby offensive option. Cedric Sabellos. He's just like a diamond version of basically of what Wiggins does. He's not really that good. Um, there's just better options in C tier. He might move up. I actually didn't mind using him for challenges. Chris Mullen. Chris Mullen's probably C tier at small forward. He's probably like B tier for shooting guard. Really great sniper. There's just guys that do what he does better. And he's not that great on the defensive end. So, he is probably the most likely to move up to B tier. I'm just going to see how the list kind of shakes out. Chuck Person. I like Chuck Person. He's like a better version of Sabellos, in my opinion. 
You could argue either one of these guys should be flip-flopped or they should be on the same tier. I just prefer Chuck Person. That's why he's up in C tier. Um, decent defense. He can attack the rim pretty well. I like his jump shot. Just kind of depends. Walt Williams. I do not like this card at all. <laughs> I'm going to put him in F. That, like, I just don't. He's huge at small forward. I honestly think they messed up in putting him small forward shooting guard. He was supposed to be small forward power forward, and I think they just messed that up. I just, there's no redeeming factors to this card. He's slow. He can't dribble the ball. He can't shoot. Um, he can attack the basket, but the only reason he can do that is because he's just big. So I, he runs into any larger player, and he's just getting squashed. I'm not a fan. Amethyst Jimmy Butler. Amethyst Jimmy Butler's still good. I would put him in C tier. He's still solid. Um, I think he's he's better than Wiggins. He's better than Bruce Bowen, Carmelo. He's just better than these guys. Connie Hawkins. I would put him in B tier. He's still pretty good. Um, he lacks some shooting, which is kind of the only issue with this card, but he's great at attacking the rim. He plays good defense. He's got nice size. Um, I think he's better than a lot of these guys. For your play style, like Chris Mullen might actually end up being a better option, but at the same time, like objectively overall, Connie Hawkins is a little bit better. Grant Hill, I would put in B tier. Uh, he's still somewhat of an elite card, but he is a little bit outdated, and I just think the guys in A tier are so much better than him that B tier makes sense for him. Darius Miles. For animations and body type alone, he gets at low end C tier. He's an outdated card, but I'm a big fan of uh, mid 2000s combo forwards, if you guys are not aware, which probably should be by this point. And Darius Miles was one of my favorite players growing up as well. I like overrated combo forwards, man, and he's still fun to use. He's just outdated. Patched up versions are still good, but yeah. Uh, Amethyst Dr. J, I would say, is C tier as well. He's bang average. Solid, definitely a worse version of the Pink Diamond, but not terrible. Dennis Scott, I do not like Dennis Scott. I would say, I personally would use Bruce Bowen over Dennis Scott. I just do not like this card, and I don't know what it is. Detlef Shrimp. In B tier, he's all right. Not, not too crazy about the card, but he's a good card. Uh, Richard Jefferson is definitely B tier as well. He blocks an absurd amount of shots, and I don't understand why, because his block tendency is low, and he's not that big of a player. So I don't really know where all the blocks are coming from, but he blocks the shit out of the ball, and I don't know why. I like him though; he's fun. I just plus he's free, so that helps. Diamond Kawhi. Diamond Kawhi is still C tier. Like, he still plays lockdown defense and can shoot from the corners and can still ball handle. He's got those Kawhi animations. Um, one more thing. I won't have Opal Kawhi on this list because nobody's got him yet. So, how am I supposed to rank a card that no one's got? Yeah, I'm sure he's going to be around S tier, but I don't know that. So, I'm not going to rank him. Ruby Dominique. He's decent. He's all right. He's D tier. Bernard King. Cedric Sabellas, Bernard King, they're basically the same, D tier. Uh, George Gervin, I think he's probably low end B tier. He might get dropped into C tier, it just kind of depends. Um, he's still a pretty good card. The Iceman's got good size, he plays the two guard, which is cool. Badge counts a little bit low, but he's still a good card nonetheless. Jack Marin, Jack Marin's S tier. Him and Terry Dissinger are damn near the exact same card. Um, Jack Marin's a better defender, whereas Terry Dissinger is better on offense, but it's not that big of a jump either way. Um, they basically play the exact same. They're about the exact same height. They're two of the premier small forwards in the game. They both deserve to be an S tier, in my opinion. Uh, Gerald Green. I'd probably put him down in C. Like, low NC tier. He's an incredibly good ruby. He's great for triple thread. He's great for limited runs. He's great for lower overall chasing. He's one of the better ruby small forwards in the entire game. I'm a big fan of this card. I like him a lot. Now, a lot of these guys are subject to move around. It just kind of depends. Uh, Gerald Wallace. I like Gerald Wallace. Very similar to what Gerald Green does, but he plays better defense. Um, I like him better than... A bunch of the cards in C tier. I would put them like top of C tier. To be honest, I'd use them over every single one of these guys, but obviously I'm not using them over any of the B tier guys. Paul Pierce. Ah, dude. Uh, he's just outdated. I would put him in like C tier. 
Honestly, he can't shoot from the corners, which is a big issue. He can't play the two guard, which is another big issue. Um, he might move up to B tier, but for right now, I'm going to drop him down to the C tier. There's going to be the majority of cards are going to be in C tier, which at the end of the video, I'll talk about a couple comments I got in the last video, and I'll explain what's going on with that. Um, Giannis. I think it's Giannis, so he's still B tier. I just don't really like him that much, but still B tier. I don't care what anyone says. G-Rob is still B-tier. G-Rob's better than Paul Pierce. He's better than all these guys in C-tier by a long shot. This card is still so good. Lamar Odom. I do not like Lamar Odom. I'm going to put him down in D-tier. Um, <laughs> I don't know. He's just not good. Tobias Harris. I don't like Tobias Harris either. He plays no defense. I've just never been a fan of Tobias Harris cards. If you're good with him, I'm sure you could argue he should be in like C-tier. But that's about the highest you could possibly put him. Uh, Tyreek Evans, he's outdated, but he's still solid enough to go C tier. Though there's better options. Like, I'd probably use Gerald Wallace over Tyreek. I uh, definitely would use Paul Pierce, possibly Chris Mullen, depending on the team. Uh, Dominique, he's just outdated. Um, put him in C tier. I'd probably use all the guys up in B tier above him. Paul George, same deal. He's just uh, outdated. He's still good. He's still got Paul George release. His badge count's just low. You can find out badged out versions of him, but he's just a once great card that's now about middle of the pack. Scottie Pippen's B tier, though. He is just a lockdown defender. He attacks the rim well. He can shoot well. You can find badged up versions for relatively cheap. His jump shot is not as bad as last year. I don't care what anyone says. It's a little slow, but it actually helps because, it, like I said with Jason Kidd, I believe, in my point guard video, Scottie Pippen will, you won't even realize it, but will probably stop you from taking a lot of bad shots because of his release. It will actually help you on offense. I know it sounds counterproductive, but it will. Diamond LeBron, another once great card that's just a little bit not good anymore. <clears throat> This one hurts, but Brandon Ingram is now in C tier as well. Like I said, I love these cards, but man, I gotta... Uh, it just hurts. I'm gonna drop Darius Miles down to D tier. I like Darius Miles, but that's a personal bias one that I can't really explain too much. Chuck Person is probably the next person to get dropped down to D tier. Uh, these two Paul Pierce's go right next to each other in C tier. They're damn near the exact same card. This one's slightly better than this one, but they're basically the same at the end of the day. Uh, Rick Fox, D tier, I get, I'd put him down in F, I'm not a big fan of this Rick Fox card, Danny Granger, him and Tobias Harris are damn near the exact same, Danny Granger still has a really nice jump shot, and he plays well offensively, that's the only thing that's keeping him out of F, um, his defense is bad, Diamond, Pink Diamond LeBron, I would put in A tier, um, I don't think he's quite S tier level, just because of his badge count and his stats. He's almost identical to the possessed LeBron with just better um, badge count. At the same time, though, like he's not even close to as good as Terry Dissinger or Jack Martin, in my opinion. Oh, I forgot about Chandler Parsons over here. Where are you going? Probably C tier. He's okay. He's got nice size. He shoots really well. He can handle the ball, which is nice. But at the same time, like he's not that good. He... he him and Chuck Person are about the first two cards that are getting ready to get dropped into D tier when I feel like it. Cliff Hagen. I'd say Cliff Hagen is C tier. He's good, but he's just an offensive sniper. Um, he doesn't really play that great of defense. He doesn't have good size, especially at the small forward. He's better as a two guard, but I'm ranking based on small forward. So I don't think he touches the guys up here in B tier as far as all around players. Like they're all all around better. I would use all of them over him, especially at the small forward position. So. Uh, Vince Carter, he's still B tier. Like, he's outdated, but he's still a good card. And we haven't gotten another Vince Carter. He still holds it down. Uh, Glenn Rice is definitely B tier. Just because he's basically the exact same as Cliff Hagen, but he has a better jump shot. He's six foot seven. he's got better size, and he's faster. Plays better defense, too. That's a key. Um, I like Glenn Rice a lot. Plus, you can get this man for, like, 20, 30K. Super good value card. One of the best in the game. Cam Reddish. Uh, B tier, but he's close to moving up to A tier. I like Cam Reddish a lot, but I can't say with absolute certainty that he's that much better than all these guys. It just depends on play style. So Cam Reddish may move up to A tier. Uh, you know what? I'll put him in A tier for now. I really like this card. I still use him. 
Um, he's a great 3 and D wing and can attack the basket. He's just got a pretty low badge count, but it's not any worse than LeBron. So I'd put him in A tier for now. Possessed LeBron, I would put down in B tier. It's just a worse version of this LeBron. Um, Possessed LeBron is still higher up in B tier. He's still a really good card, but at the same time, like this LeBron exists and he's significantly better than this one. Stats wise, they're identical, but this one has significantly better badges. Um, yeah, there's badged up possessed LeBrons that would make these cards the same, but you could say that about many cards in here. Gordon Hay, I hate Gordon Hayward, but he's still C tier. Like, he's still usable. Can't say he's like worse than the majority of these guys. Put uh, Dominique towards the top of C tier. That's kind of where I would rank him. Him and Paul Pierce are up here, like towards the top. Uh, Brandon Ingram, Cliff Hagen. Hedo Turkaloo. Dude, I like Hedo Turkaloo. He's actually really good. I would drop Chandler Parsons down and put Hedo here. Um, Hedo's just a better version of what Chandler Parsons does. He's got great size. Um, the key is, though, is he can run point forward really, really well. He doesn't play great defense at all. But how much different is that in regards to, like, Chris Mullen and stuff? But he's such a good facilitator that I have to put him in C tier. TJ Warren. I do not like this TJ Warren card at all. They really did him dirty, but he's still decent enough. Like, he has good enough badges. I wish they would have gave him more shooting badges, especially with how good he was in the budget. Or the budget. How good he was in the bubble last year. I wish they would have gave him some more shooting badges, but they at least gave him enough badges that keeps him out of D tier. And you can upgrade, like, all of his badges too, but... I try not to do badged up versions as my ranking because that just doesn't so counterproductive. Karan Butler, I like Karan Butler, but he's probably D tier at this point. That being said, I like this card a lot. Uh, Jamal Wilkes is F. I, it's not much I can do there. Jamal Mashburn, uh, this one hurts because I like Jamal Mashburn, but there's just better options. Like most of these guys in D tier are better than Jamal Mashburn. You know what? No, fuck that. Like Jamal Mashburn, I'll take him over Bernard King. Andre Iguodala, uh, he's just outdated, but he's fun. I like him still. Michael Finley, I like Michael Finley a lot, but he's probably C tier at this point. There's just so many good small forwards that it's C tier is going to be packed with players, as it usually will. So I had someone tell me that in my last video that I should balance the tiers better. My response to that would be, I, sh I couldn't be giving you an accurate tier list if I was balancing the tiers. Okay, like, does that make sense? Like, the tiers are supposed to be unbalanced. If you're getting, like, a real unbalanced tier list, the tiers are going to be unbalanced. Um, that's just kind of how it is. Like, there's... If I'm giving you a completely unbiased tier list with absolutely no agenda whatsoever and stuff like that and trying to be as like objective as possible you're gonna have like only three cards in s tier a few cards in a tier you know 10 15 cards b tier like 30 cards c tier 30 cards d tier and only a few cards f tier that's what a real tier list is supposed to look like in regards to 2k like that's just how they produce cards a shit ton of really decent ones slash outdated ones a bunch of ones that do a few things pretty well a few trash trash ones and then the rest that's how they do it so james worthy i think he's still c tier like he's still usable he's got great size um he's like a better version of darius miles so i would have dropped darius miles regardless because james worthy is like a better version of what he does uh paul george i think is still a tier I think he's a little bit overpriced for what he is at this point, but he's still a great defender. Has that Paul George release that's really nice. I think A tier makes a lot of sense for him. Larry Legend. His badge count is bad, but he still has a really nice jumper. Um, he only has like two Hawk badges. But the badges he does have are good enough that he stays low end C tier. Like he's at the bottom of C for a reason. You don't run into this guy anymore for a reason. A lot of the guys in C tier are significantly better than him. But he's still decent, but he might drop to D tier at any point. Brian Russell. I want you guys to know that it is doing I'm doing everything in my power to avoid putting this guy in B tier because I love this card so much, but he's upper echelon C tier. I'm not kidding when I say I would take Brian Russell on my squad over every single one of the cards in C tier. I do not mean that as a joke. I mean that 100% seriously. 
just for the way that I play my small forward, <clears throat> I would like Brian Russell's my guy. Great size, one of the best defenders in the game. Excellent three pointer, releases a little slow, but it limits the bad shots I take. Gold range extender, has that Evo that gives him gold catch and shoot and or gold catch and shoot, Hall of Fame catch and shoot and Hall of Fame clamps. My man is elite. Personally, for personal reasons, I'm probably taking him over a bunch of the guys in B tier. I will say Glenn Robinson is the first person to get dropped, by the way. I like Glenn Robinson, but like I said, trying to be objective here. These three guys are going to be the first people to get dropped. Len Rice is really good. Uh, Carmelo. Right next to Paul Pierce. Literally right next to the Paul Pierce's. They're damn near the exact same. Uh, I might have to drop you, Glenn Robinson. That hurts. Evan Turner. I hate him. I hate him so much. This Glenn Rice is bad. Him, Danny Granger, Jamal Masper, and Tobias Harris. They're all damn near the exact same card. As far as like what they can bring you or your team. Uh, Xavier McDaniel, I like this card actually. I'm gonna put him in C tier. He's really good, especially when you put some badges on him. He's solid. Um, great size, plays excellent defense. Uh, he rebounds very well. Chris Middleton. Oh, Chris Middleton's tough, man. Does he go C tier? I think he's a little better than C tier personally. I like Chris Middleton. I'm in the minority when it comes to Chris Middleton cards. Like I really like him. I think I put him in B tier last time. His badge count is still decent. He's got, eh, I don't know. No, you know what? He just he doesn't have enough to get. Yeah, I have to. I like this card a lot, but at the same time, like we're looking at all the cards that are coming up. Like he's really good, but he's a three and D card. And I can't say for certain if he's that much better than Brian Russell, which hurts because I like this card a lot. Mike Miller. Mike Miller is C tier as well. Uh, he's actually a really good 3 and D guy. Him and Gerald Green are so good in multiple game modes. That's why they're up in C tier. Um, personally, I'm taking both of them over Diamond Larry Bird and a few of the other cards in C tier. Danny Granger. Danny Granger, I think, is A tier. I think he's the top of A tier with LeBron, though. Like, I don't necessarily think Granger and LeBron... You could argue both of them deserve to be an S tier. For sure, but I think A tier is more appropriate. Um, I think Danny Granger is better than Paul George, but there are people who think Paul George and Cam Reddish are better than Granger. I don't agree with that, but I would say probably Danny Granger is right there. I might drop Cam Reddish. I don't know. I'm not not sure yet. I hate Purvis Short, dude, but he's not so terrible that he deserves F tier. He can at least shoot and attack the rim, so D tier. Uh, Jeremy Grant C tier. He's really good, especially for a free card. Once again, might not agree. He does lack some vital badges, um, but I think he's. I would use him over all the guys in D tier, personally. I like Jeremy Grant. Rick Barry. I don't think Rick Barry is A tier, personally. Um, I would put him top of B tier. Rick Barry's good. Don't get me wrong. Um, and he might move up to A tier. I, he's got great hot zones. They had to give him steady, which I obviously don't mind. He has Hall of Fame range extender, but... He has enough defensive badges to be okay. He just doesn't play defense and well enough. I don't know, man. Rick Barry's so tough. His speed with ball's a little low, too. 89's decent. He might move up to A tier. Like, I might move Cam Reddish down, Rick Barry up. That's probably what I'll actually do. I'll move Rick Barry up. Rick Barry's decent. His jump shot, I don't like it, though. That's tough, man. His jump shot is what's keeping me. Some people love it. I don't like jump shot three. Oh, wait. I'm totally messing up what jump shot he has. Yeah, no, he's definitely A tier for sure. I just realized, yeah, jump shot three is the same one Jared Jack has. Yeah, no, fuck that. Rick Barry's sick. Cam Reddish down, Rick Barry up. All the way up. I don't care what anyone says. Rudy. Still C tier. Still good. I can't wait till we get an updated Rudy Gay card. Really excited for it. Uh, one of my favorite players in 2K consistently every single year. And this card is no different. Joe Ingles. He still shoots and plays defense. He gets D tier. I'll take him over Purvis Short for sure. Elgin Baylor. Don't like Elgin Baylor. You could argue he deserves to be in B tier. I don't really think so. But, you know. John Havlicek. Solid enough. Just outdated. Not a huge fan. He's a season two pink diamond. Like... I'm taking Brian Russell. I'm not kidding over every single card in C tier. Call me insane. That's fine. But I'm, I'm, yeah. 
Jonathan Isaac, still a lockdown defender. I would say the biggest key to Jonathan Isaac is he misses an absurd amount of whites that seemingly he shouldn't miss. The way to remedy this, at least with the cards available, is to put volume shooter on him. That's been the most effective thing for me. I've been trying to get consistent whites to go in with this guy since he came out, and volume shooter is a big deal. Apparently, it helps quite a bit make a lot of whites as the game progresses, so. Mo Pete. Mo Pete's fun, but he plays no defense. And he, I can't say for certain he's better than Karan Butler. Jimmy Butler. I think Jimmy Butler's S tier, personally. As a small forward, I think he is. Um, like, he's not... When I did my shooting guard tier list, I would have put him A tier in shooting guards. That's just because we had Tracy McGrady and Havlicek, who were so much better than Jimmy Butler. But I can't say for certain that Dissinger and Jack Morin are really better than Jimmy Butler, truly. They're better at certain things, but so is Jimmy Butler. I think Jimmy Butler is better than all four of the guys in A tier. You could argue this LeBron deserves to go up, but I'm going to keep Jimmy Butler in S. Josh Jackson, he plays good enough defense that I can't put him in F tier. I like this card a lot. Uh, Julius Irving, I think Dr. J is still B tier, personally, just because Dr. J in general is just a really good card. Um, in game, he's got Ruby Gay base. He has a lot of things. I'm going to move G-Rob down. That hurts, but I have to. But I think Dr. J, even though he has that low badge count, is still a really good small forward in this game and still usable to this day definitely deserves b tier uh batum uh, i would put him in c tier down lower in c tier i'm not a huge fan of him but he's he's fun uh diamond Giannis, he's still good enough to be c tier in my opinion anyway you could argue d but i'd probably use him over most of the guys in d tier uh junior bridgman is actually really good i would put him in b tier like upper b tier he's significantly better than you'd think he'd be um, I would say the lower B tier guys would probably be like Richard Jefferson, Julius Irving, and I like Pippen, but probably Pippen. But Junior Bridgman, oh, Connie Hawkins would be one of the lower guys. Junior Bridgman would be up here with like LeBron and Cam Reddish as guys who could potentially be in A tier. He's actually super good. And he just costs so much to lock in that no one locked in for him. Sorry, Kelly Chapuga. I'm a fan. You know what? No. You have such a cool mustache. I can't... I wouldn't dare. Let me throw you up here, and I'll throw Tobias... No, Tobias Harris. I'll throw Mashburn down here. Um, Diamond Durant. I would say Diamond Durant's D tier at this point. Nah, he's probably C tier, realistically. He's still okay. Uh, PD Durant, still upper echelon B tier. I think he's better than Cam Reddish. Um, he... You could, you could argue that Kevin Durant's still A tier. He lacks a couple important badges, but it's nothing a couple badge additions can't fix. Um, you just really don't run into this card anymore, which is weird. Because um, he's still really good, so I don't understand. Like, I haven't run into this card in-game in so long. Like, everyone just moved on. Everyone has better small forwards now. Because I don't think Kevin Durant's as good as Rick Barry, Braun, Danny Granger, or Paul George. You can make a case for Paul George. It just depends on play style, but I think... Paul George fits more people's play style. So I'm going to leave him at B. If you want to flame me in the comments, go ahead. I'm definitely getting flamed in the comments for this one, but uh, Michael Porter Jr. is B tier, and I truly do not care how you feel about that. This card is so fucking good. That's all I'll say about it. Kiki Vanderwee, he's, like, not good, but probably C tier, uh, realistically. I'm going to move him couple cards down from C tier just to balance it out a little bit. Lamar Odom's D. I don't like this card. Larry Kanan at this stage he's just not good enough. He's I like him still. Uh, Latrell Sprewell he's still good enough for C tier. This LeBron sucks. I hate him. Lou Hudson D. Uh, Mar I hate Mark Aguirre dude. Mark Aguirre is so bad. Uh, let's see. Matt Barnes I want to put him in C tier, but realistically, he's D tier, I think. Um, no, you know what? He's good enough in enough modes that he's C tier for sure. He's the best Sapphire in this game by far. Mike Dunleavy's D tier, or I'll, along with Mo Pete. Uh, this Mike Miller, probably the same. They're like the same card, so probably C tier. I wouldn't recommend using either. Uh, Page is D. I do not like Page Stojakovic at all. Andre Iguodala is still a B-tier card, in my opinion. He's still really, really good uh, defensively, great offensively. 
I don't think you can put him anywhere else but upper echelon B tier, like realistically, with like these six guys. Robert Reed's bad. Rolando's okay. I put him like B tier, upper echelon D tier with like Peja. Same with Scotty. Scotty plays really good defense, but he's not good offensively at all. Uh, Kawhi is still good enough and limited and stuff that I would put him in D tier as well. I don't think F tier makes sense for him. Sean Elliott's just so bad badge wise that I'd put him down in F tier. I actually really like this Shane Battier card. Like he's a great three and D option. Brian Brian Russell's still better, but and Steven Jackson. Yes, there's badged up versions. I'd put him C tier. Realistically, he's still such a good ruby that C tier makes sense for him. So, anyways, that's the tier list, guys. Now let's go over it a little bit, and uh, that way you can kind of go about flaming me in the comments here. Terry Dissinger, Jack Maher, and Jimmy Butler last year. Um, those are the unquestionable best three small forwards in the game. Now, I you could you could argue that Jimmy Butler deserves to be an A tier with these guys. I would definitely hear you out. I just think he's a little bit better than all four of these guys, which is why he's up in S tier. And I think he's more on par with Dissinger and Marin than he is with these guys. Now, as far as the A tier guys, Rick Barry has one of the fastest releases in the game. He plays decent defense. He does need some badge work, but he's still a really good card. LeBron James, it's a LeBron card with a high badge count and goal range extender. A tier. Danny Granger and Paul George are just two opposite sides of the coin. They have essentially the same player build. One's more defensive-minded, one's more offensive-minded, but they're not much different at all. I prefer Danny Granger because his defense is better than Paul George's offense, if that makes sense when it comes to the discrepancies. Uh, B tier, Kevin Durant, Bridgman. Cam Reddish is just a more outdated version of these two, which is why he's down in B tier. This possessed LeBron is a badge-wise outdated version of this moment's LeBron, which is why he's down in B tier. Still a very usable card, but yes. Uh, Grant Hill's just starting to get outdated. It's still a good card. Detlef, George Gervin, same thing. Giannis, he can't shoot, but he's still Giannis. Vince Carter, starting to get outdated. Good card, though. Glenn Rice, new gun on the block, great budget option, absolute sniper. I think he's better than the majority of the cards in C tier. Personally, I like Brian Russell over him, but you know. Scotty Pippen, he's a great defender. I don't care what anyone says, his card's elite. Richard Jefferson, excellent free option, still really good. Julius Irving, still usable at this stage in the game, though he's close to getting into a C tier territory. Connie Hawkins, same deal. Uh, Michael Porter Jr., another young gun on the block. Fucking excellent amethyst. He's better than a lot of the cards in C tier. I would say all of them, personally. Brian Russell, top echelon of C tier. Look, the only reason I didn't put him in B tier is because I'm not insane. Now, look, I know there's a lot of guys in here that people are going to be mad that they're in C tier. They're going to be like, why is Cliff Hagen in C tier if Glenn Rice is in B tier? I explained that, number one. Number two, I just really think that all these guys are average which is why they're in c tier and like i said with the balancing like this is in my opinion how a tier list for this type of game should look there's three to four super elite options that are unquestionably the best four or five really really good a tier guys um you know like i said i don't even know how many i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen okay yep 15 to 16 b tier guys that are definitely high tier cards 20 to 30 guys who are just really bang average and they're specialist guys and if you're good with them go ahead and use them but i don't recommend them for everyone in every play style d tier guys guys that have some sort of value and then f tier guys who i think just don't have any value at this stage in the game so let me know what you think down in the comments i'm going to do the power forwards and the centers here pretty soon so check that out when you when you can when i drop them um as always check my description for all my stuff and uh i appreciate every single one of you guys who watched the channel drop a like comment down below man peace